No, too much. That's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Gotta be stern with these guys. All right, we're back. The People versus Mr. Telephone Man. My boyfriend tell me he does what the hell he want with his phone because he paid the bill. Ain't nobody gotta let nobody own it. First of all, you sound like you're texting me right now. Get your words straight, ma'am. Did you go to school? Is this a text message? Are you abbreviating? Number one. Number two, yes, it's his phone. If your boyfriend tell you he paid the bill on his phone, don't be all up in his phone. You either trust him or you don't. While you're worried about his phone, you need to be worried about how to write. Take a take an uh, English class, damn it. My boyfriend tell me, look, can y'all proofread this before you bring this in my damn court? He's not guilty. Go take an English class. <laughs> this a lot of to fix. Y'all just need Jesus. The people versus my place. I've been with this guy that's so sexy on and off for like three years. We met on Grindr. Okay, that's cute. So I assumed he was just in it for the sex, but now that all my friends are getting married and I'm starting to wonder if we can make it happen. After all these years, though, I've never even been to his apartment. We only go to mine. Am I falling for an F boy? Why you wanna marry somebody you ain't never been to his house? He could have roaches. He could not have a bed. He could be sleeping on the damn floor. Uh, he probably ain't even got no food in his fridge. He might have another person over there. You gotta get to his house first before you can think about marrying his ass. You know what, for now, go to a wedding and, and, and you know, well, I don't know if you catch a bouquet. Have him catch a bouquet for you and give it to you. And maybe you can find somebody that'll marry your ass. But as for now, is he a boy? Well, I don't think he's an F boy. I just think y'all are more like friends with benefits. You just have to take it for what it is. So, is he guilty? Not guilty. Case closed. Good luck. <laughs> the People versus The Liar. I'm a 19-year-old from Charleston, South Carolina, and I feel like I'm a pretty good dude. But the other day, this girl I've been hooking up with told me she loves me, and I told her I felt the same way, enough to kind of know I don't. I just don't want her to leave. Does that make me an F-boy? Don't be leading these girls on, young man. You are 19 years old. You have your whole life ahead of you, and you're sitting here lying to a young girl, telling her you love her? Tell her something else. Tell her another lie, like, you like her weave, or you like her ugly ass shoes. Don't tell her you love her. That's too emotional. Lie and say you like, you like her makeup. You like something. Lie about other stupid <laughs> Don't lie about love. Ugh. That is definitely an F-boy move. I remember this one time. <laughs> My ex told me he loved me. He told me he loved me for three years. Three damn years. <laughs> Love don't live here no more. Somebody give me a tissue. <laughs> You're a boy. Guilty. <laughs> now I miss my ex. <laughs> if you guys want to see more Wild and Out videos, click right here and be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the craziness we got going down. Hit that subscribe button right over here.